first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee for Now I know it never feels good to put your heart into a cause or a candidate you believe in and to come up short. I know that feeling well. <laughs> it may be hard to see tonight, but we are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. <laughs> On the very day my mother was born in Chicago, Congress was passing the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. <laughs> that amendment finally gave women the right to vote. And of course, I wish she could see her daughter become the Democratic Party's nominee. Tonight's victory is not about one person. It belongs to generations of women and men who struggled and sacrificed and made this moment possible. There are still ceilings to break for women and men, for all of us, but don't let anyone tell you that great things can't happen in America. Barriers can come down.